All right, what's going on, people? Ringworld Map here, and today we're gonna talk about Jade Bornea, or we're gonna not Bornea. We're gonna talk about Jeremy Nankajas versus Takuma Inoue. My prediction on it, my initial thoughts on it. Now, this is a fight that is really interesting because a lot of people seem to say or seem to look at Takuma Inoue as simply the younger brother, the much greener brother of Noya. But in my opinion, he's a very sharp boxer in it or in his own right. He's, he has a he has a potential in, in boxing and he can make a name for himself in my opinion, all right, with those skills. He just doesn't have the power, but in terms of skills, he has the skills to be to be world class, you know? So let's get right into this. The first one we're gonna look at is gonna be the probing hook. So one difference that we'll see between between Inoue, between Naoya Inoue and Takuma Inoue is gonna be that probe, all right? If you look at Takuma Inoue, he has a little more probing in his style than, than Noya in a way. He likes to stretch out that lead hand a little bit more, especially in Southpaw versus Orthodox matchups. So that's exactly what we see in this fight, or that's exactly what we saw in this fight against uh, Jake Bornea. So as you can see, he's gonna start off with a pro pro with that lead hand of the Southpaw, and then he's gonna transition that to a lead hook. Okay, so let's see this once again. He's gonna do that probing game and then do that left hook after he probes right there against uh, Jake Bornea. Now if we look at Jerwin Ancajas, right, he he has the same stance as Bornea, it's almost bladed, right, and every time he gets hit with those left hooks, he tends to be bladed as well, he tends to put that lead hand down. And in my opinion, that's going to be a dangerous game to play, alright? If you play the probing game against Takuma, I think it's not going to be good for Jerwin to do that, alright? This is going to be much better off working with the jab, right? Not Pawing, not pawing with, with Takuma, that's going to be a much better option. Because Takuma is just much better at the probing game. So if it comes down to it, and if they get into a probing game with each other, in my opinion, Takuma is going to win that win that particular battle. And he's going to be able to sneak some shots in against a guy like Jerwin, right? who has a pretty similar stance with, or a similar stance as Jake Bornea. Okay, so... The next thing we'll see is going to be that counter right hand. Okay, so what he does here, or no, this is actually still the probe and right hook. So there, that's not a probe right there, that's more of a check hook and an uppercut. I don't know why, why I included that shit. So this one, you're going to see that counter right hand. So for this one, again, everything is set up from, from by that probe. So he stretches out that lead hand, forces you or draws a reaction from you. As soon as you bite for it, he just leans back a little bit. Okay, and then he throws that right uppercut. Okay, and again, for a front foot heavy fighter like Jerwin Ancajas, that's going to be a dangerous game to play. Okay, if you like to lean forward a lot, if you don't know how to stay neutral, that's going to be a dangerous game to play for a guy like Jerwin. I don't care. I don't give a fuck what you guys say. Oh, Atakuma doesn't have the power to knock out to knock out Jerwin. Yes, he all said the same thing about fucking... Um, who's that dude again? That was Fernando Martinez. Y'all said the same thing about Fernando Martinez. Look what happened. Right, yeah, he didn't have the power to knock him out, but he whooped his ass for 12 rounds. And so in my opinion, he, German doesn't, or German shouldn't be too front foot heavy against a guy like Takuma. Because Takuma has the ability to control that range really well with his counter punching. And he knows how to operate with that paw as well. So as you can see, he's gonna paw once again. He waits for Bornea to bite. Soon as he feels that the head is close enough with the right hand, bam, he just sneaks that in. And notice how smooth that step back is at the same time, right? He's gonna do that probe again. And then, boom, a right hand. Boom, another right hand. Okay, another lead right hand. And he knows how to step back right away after that. Now, am I saying that the German doesn't have the head movement to slip those punches? I'm not saying that. But all I'm saying is... Takuma knows how to place those punches in a way that, as you can see, even if Bornea slips that punch, he still knows how to adjust the angles a little bit to land that right hand flush. Okay, this is gonna probe that side once again. Boom, and then throw right hand. So as you can see there, even if Bornea was bladed, even if Bornea pulled back a little bit, that right hand still landed. Y'all see that? Boom. Okay, so this is gonna be a dangerous fight. In my opinion, the camp of German should focus on stepping back. They should focus on in and out movement. And it's not too late. It's not too late. I think he has he has enough fundamentals. He has enough agility to be able to train this. But the flat-footed 
uh, German that we saw against Fernando Martinez is not going to cut it. Yes, we saw a little bit of step back game in the fight against uh, Soto, but Soto is not... It's not as much of a quality opponent as Takuma. So we have to... This is going to be an exciting fight, man. I want to see that step back game of, of Jerwin get upgraded. I want to see him work on that step back counter a little bit more. And look, if he does that, he might be able to put up a good fight against Takuma, all right? Experience-wise, obviously, Jerwin's a lot more experienced than, than Takuma. But again, stylistically speaking... Um, Takuma is just a little bit sharper, okay? Takuma is just a little more tailored for a guy like Jerwin because Jerwin has a tendency to be heavy on that front leg and he also has a tendency to, to not step back, to abandon his step back. And that's gonna, that's gonna be something that Takuma can take advantage of because if you blade as a, as a southpaw fighter, then your opponent can place punches which can which can trap you you know if you're bladed for example your opponent can land that right hand down a flush or they can land that right hand flush 